I'm tired. I'm going home. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye. Check out the next video right now on Patreon. Don't know what it is. Oh, actually, you know what? The next video is going to be improving the shop. We've got some really awesome stuff coming. So that's, that's the next video. So we have a lot of little things that we want to do. There's nothing too major, but a lot of little stuff that's going to add up. One of the main things is entertainment. I spend a lot of time here at the shop, eight hours a day, probably six, six days a week. Not to say that I don't enjoy spending time here, but I could enjoy it more if I had better entertainment. We got some nice speakers out there. They're acting up, so we gotta fix those. We have three TVs in here, none of which work, all of which are from 2005. I mean, look at how thick that TV is. <laughs> ridiculous. So we want to get a smart TV for the office and we also want to get a couch. The funny thing is that we used to have a big nice couch here but I never used it. Whenever I eat lunch I usually went to a restaurant, ate at the restaurant, came back and the, the couch just kind of took up space. But now with COVID I eat at the shop all the time because I go through drive through bring it back and then now I'm eating on the small little desk. So now I've realized that I actually want a couch and summer's also here so we're going to be having guests come to the shop, my friends. We're gonna have summer hangouts, obviously. And we need more seating in here because this is the office. It's the only place with AC and there's one seat and a lawn chair. So that's a problem. We have a lot of cleaning to do, obviously. That's always a problem. We have doors from the Subaru WRX that have sat there for a good, almost a year now. Knife chilling here. It's very messy. I want to make these these transmission chairs move around because they each weigh about 80 pounds and moving them is a huge inconvenience. So we're going to put some wheels on those. I have my bow and arrows and my airsoft gun in this corner. That does not hit, have to be here. We can move that. Now out in the actual shop area, it gets warm obviously here in the summer and keeping the door shut, the big overhead door helps keep it cool in here. But then it's kind of dark over by this area by the lift and it's it's just, it's just, it's kind of depressing. So I want to hang up some lights all around here and wire them up to a switch. Don't exactly know how that's going to go, but we'll do that. I mean, like seriously, like look at, I'm sitting in this corner and it's, it, the lighting's terrible. So we definitely want to fix that. And then I've been watching podcasts a lot recently, especially like a Joe Rogan podcast, which is awesome. But the problem is that as of now, they're only on YouTube and then I have to have it on my phone. My phone has to be unlocked. So I want to get a TV out in the shop area and put it on a wall mount kind of up in that corner. So if we have a podcast, it can be up there. If we want to watch a YouTube video, it can be up there. Having a TV in this the shop area would be really nice. And then we can also hook it up to the speakers. One of the main things that we're getting is a beer fridge, which is the best thing ever. Obviously, we used to have a fridge in here, then we moved it to my apartment. And then New Air was like, hey, you want another new beer fridge? And I was, of course, like, hell yeah. So we've got a new beer fridge from New Air. Thank you to New Air for sending out that fridge. That's gonna be awesome. We're gonna decorate a little bit. It's about all I have on the list. So let's get started. It's gonna be kind of all over the place. We're just gonna do things little by little over the next couple of days. And hopefully by the end, this shop is more awesome. First thing is the fridge, I think. As you guys can tell, I do a lot of my own work here at the shop. <sighs> So this is the New Air 125 can freestanding beer froster. Starting with the basics, obviously it's gorgeous, all black. The entire front is glass and this glass is heated so it doesn't get all foggy when you're opening and closing things. It's got a touch screen with the temperature control, it tells you when it's actually cooling, all sorts of stuff. You can adjust the temperature with the arrows right there. You're going to turn on the light, turn off the light. Everything's touchscreen, really awesome. The special things about this fridge is that it has a turbo mode and a party mode. What those things do is pretty much prevent you from ever having to drink a warm drink. Turbo mode, you push turbo mode and for one hour, it cools the fridge all the way down to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So say you just went to the store, you got yourself some warm craft beer or warm Mountain Dew or warm whatever. You wanna get it cold really fast so you can drink it, but you don't wanna put it in the freezer because then you're gonna forget about it, it's gonna freeze. Put it in here, turn on turbo mode, and in an hour, it's gonna be perfect temperature. And you can hear it's pretty quiet too. That's it doing its thing right now. Party mode brings it down to 23 degrees for six hours. So if you're having a party and people are constantly opening the fridge, all your drinks is still stay cool because it's all the way at 23 degrees Fahrenheit. This is one of the coolest fridges on the market. Now I have a bunch of new air products all over my apartment, my bus, and the shop. 
Everything they make is really, really awesome. If you guys wanna check out this fridge or anything else, I'll have a link in the description. Make sure to check them out. Huge thank you to New Air for providing the fridge for the shop and all the other stuff and supporting the channel. Making some progress. Oh wow, when you're making me work and you tell me. <laughs> that should be a, oh thank you, you're making me look useful. <laughs> Room has been cleared for the couch. All the other things have been moved over to that corner. We're gonna go get the couch for the truck now. Test the truck and the bed, see how that goes. And we're gonna do that while Pasha sweeps. Hey, 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 no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> An effort to not abandon Pasha, we are gonna be taking my new daily. I've been daily driving this thing since uh, middle of winter and you guys have not seen it yet. Unless you were, you were a patron, of course. So let's show you, but let's get some straps first so we can strap down the couch to the top. Do you know where straps are back there? And here it is, a mint condition 91 Volvo 240, uh, except this one's actually my friend's. This one is mine, and it is not mint condition. It's a Volvo 240 wagon, which is cooler. And yeah, we have a lot of plans for this thing, but for now, it's just a daily driver. You know, it's a little rough around the edges, but for now we need to go get a couch. So let's go get a couch. A little more background on this car, right? It, it looks a little rough, but catch this. 73,000 original miles, boy. And a check engine light and an overdrive light. Yeah. I got this thing for a thousand bucks. It was an awesome deal. I have a lot of a, a lot of really cool plans for it, but it drifts in the rain. It does drift in the rain. It's pretty it awesome. It's rear wheel drive, if you guys didn't know. It's an automatic, four speed. Let's go get this couch. Where's the fifth perfect? <laughs> Go get the cushions. Chop, chop. So this is Samsung DAX. You can use your phone as like a, uh, it's literally like a, good, a computer. Yeah, the resolution is not as good through this, but like, you know, we're in a shop. So it's like, we're back here, like, this is, this is dope. The TV's pretty ugly up there, but it's whatever. If you haven't watched the new video, go ahead and watch it right now.
ready? You ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like whoosh. Wow, that's, that was lame. Oh no, it quick. still does it. Yeah, I used to, there wasn't enough water. There's one more, there's more, 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 more right there. Come here. Come. Oh no, it's more water. Ooh. Wow. Oh, guys, you hear that? Wow. That was so cool. Oh, dude. oh my god, this is epic. <laughs> Oh, wow. man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Can we? Yep. That's nice. 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 Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, I guess that we were supposed to cheer there, guys. Oh, okay, let's try it. Let's try again. Let's try it. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Oh! Oh my god, it worked! Woo! Alright, everyone, it is the next day, and although progress is looking good, the office is awesome, still a lot more to do. So I'm gonna get to work on modifying and making some more furniture. Well, ladies and gents, I might be a good fabricator, but it took me an entire day to add wheels to my transmission chair. I made the brackets, I made the dolly things, and I underestimated the weight of the transmission with a person on it, and I sat down in all four tabs back. So I had to unbend them, then weld brackets, and that wasn't enough, so then I had to weld more brackets. But it's good now. So here we are, the rolling transmission chair. la -ti da it rolls. Ugly now, but you know, it's whatever. It's not supposed to be pretty. And you can even lock the wheels, and it still kind of rolls, but pretty good. So now, I'll eventually make a stand for the pedal, and I'll be able to sit here and weld instead of standing up. For now, let's make some office furniture. Definitely a success. This is an awesome desk chair. What's crazy is that during this process, three of the four bolts, three of the four nuts that are in the fiberglass of the seat decided to start moving. So only one bolt out of all of them can tighten. So definitely glad it's not in the car anymore. Um, but it's a little annoying, it's not a little rattly, but whatever, it's a desk chair now. It fits nicely underneath the desk. Well guys, with that, that is going to be it. We didn't quite get to everything that I wanted to, 
but the office is looking a lot better. Some of these car, car part furnitures are awesome. I mean, look, we got a shelf made out of an intercooler with a blown up turbo and fake brake calipers on it. And we have a coffee table out of a radiator. I was really proud of this. That looks awesome. I wanted to obviously do like the lighting in the shop area. I wanted to organize a little bit more, but we just didn't have time for it. The lighting stuff is gonna take a couple days in itself. And we got a special guest here. Keegan, you wanna come in for a second? This man has an ATV that we're gonna fix and make really awesome. So I wanna do that. So that's why this video is done for. Um, that's it, okay, go back, go over <laughs> um, Hopefully you did enjoy this video nonetheless I, like I said, in here it's so much off, awesomer. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, please give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you want to support the channel and check out the next video, please head over to Patreon. The next video we are fixing and restoring his ATV. He got it for hundred bucks. It's really cool. We're gonna have a bunch of fun with it. We're gonna drift it and it's awesome. I'm, I'm really excited. That is if we can get it running, which I think we can. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace out, goodbye.